Hello, Soul Garden. Welcome to another episode of The Urban Mystic. I'm Skip Jennings, your spiritual cheerleader and your spiritual counselor with some questions. This is a shout out episode. Remember, if you have a question for me, throw it to me. Okay, so let's get going. I have three general questions that I'm getting a lot of. And so I'm going to answer those general questions this round. First one is on meditation. And I want to give a big shout out to Julie Zipper. She has a show, Meditation Vibration, that brings me to a deeper awareness of meditation. So I'm going to speak from a place of what I know. Meditation is a place that allows me to center myself on reality. The reality is that God is always present, always active. God is simply all that I am, and I am all that God is. The universe is just God, God, God. When I take the time to close out the external and be centered in that space, that quiet space, that garden, secret garden, I'm able to tap in to source, which lives within me. I need meditation. I need meditation or I'm telling you I'm going to, mm, especially on the roads. Sometimes I have to meditate while I'm driving. It's about where is your attention? Your attention on reality. Reality is God is all that there is. I'm getting questions about prayer. So I'm going to talk to you about what prayer has done for my life. Prayer has put me into a alignment with God. That's what prayer does. When I pray, it's not what I'm praying for, it's where I'm praying from. I'm praying from a place that I and the Father are one, that all things are possible, that when I speak a word for you, because when you guys call me or you guys email me or you guys you know, Facebook me and say, pray for this, I pray, knowing the truth, seeing beyond the condition and knowing the truth for you. And the truth for you, that when I pray, I see your Christ consciousness. I see beyond your condition and I know your wholeness. I know your divine self. And that's what I'm praying to know more of. Prayer works. I am the product of prayer. I know it works. I know it works. Here's the last one. We're going to talk about peace. And I get this all the time about peace around the planet. We have so many wars and we're still in two wars and all this and that and this. Here's what I have to say. Again, I'm looking beyond this condition. The condition is the war. The condition is, yeah, we've made some choices and we've been here for a long time and we're trying to get out. Here's what I'm going to say to you about this. Speak peace in the midst of the war. Change the vibration of this war by saying peace is active. Peace is unfolding. Peace is happening right here, right now. Why can I say that? If I truly believe that God is everywhere active and God is everywhere present and God is all powerful, then God is in the middle of this war. Even with external eyes that I can't see it, I know it. So I'm able to speak peace in the presence of what appears to be chaos. I'm not saying you agree with the war, because I don't agree with war. I don't agree. I believe that peace is always the answer. And I'm not turning a blind eye by saying it's all God. That's a spiritual bypass. That's not what I'm doing. But what I am knowing that because God is active everywhere, God must be active in the middle of these wars. So while we're still in the middle of it, speak peace, speak protection for everyone, not just the American troops. What about the brothers that are over there? That, you know, there are brothers as well, and I need to pull off my soapbox right now. But know this, that peace is always available, even in your own workplaces, that you might have a little bit of war going on in your own house, have a little bit of war going on. So anyway, that's it for me. This was a shout out episode. If you have any questions just like this, you can send them in to me and I promise I'll answer them online. If I don't get through them online, I definitely get through them on, um, through my computer. I'll definitely answer the questions. So until next time, I'm Skip Jennings. So
So go.